Hey everyone, my name is Roman, uh, Roman Pawlowski. I am working with video games since uh, 2004, so I run in more than uh, 40 games. And uh, when I start work with crypto and NFT, I understand the future of NFT connection and games. So uh, actually, we are not traditional game because we are making gamify publishing company. And I want you to show some video that we have event in December last year. Please enable video. Thank you guys, thanks for coming. It is a great privilege to see all of you here. It is a privilege indeed. And uh, I wanna say a huge thanks to the entire team who is here. They've been making a lot of efforts to get um, to where we are now and you know, to put all of these efforts to prepare to this amazing event. The first time I'm uh, in such a great uh, event. Uh, thank you for the invitation. As an EIC accelerator fund within the European Commission, we simply invest in uh, non-bankable projects related to innovations. And this project absolutely meets all requirements. Gaming is one of the largest industries on this planet, aside from blockchain or any of that. And when you mix that with um, blockchain technology and with tokens, because what they do in gaming, their whole goal is not to get a crypto for future speculation. Their whole game is, I need to get more of these tokens as credits. See, this project simply bring a lot of uh, disruption in the market. There is a lot of technology which is innovative and uh, based on blockchain, NFT, metaverse, artificial intelligence. This is all what is the definition of 21st century in one package. So I can continue to play, buy this gas. And I think it's a huge market for that. It's a huge market for it. You can't deny it. Bob, really enjoyed uh, the presentation. I mean, everything you guys uh, are looking at doing looks uh, looks like something that could really do you know do wonders in the industry. Right now, I feel like we're plagued with companies that are very short vision, and I feel like what you guys are doing actually really broadens the horizons for what uh, blockchain gaming can actually do. We were able to see amazing, powerful images. The quality is like no other, and they actually have a challenge if you can find a web-based game with a higher quality than theirs, they will give you digital assets worth more than $4,000 on the metaverse. So there are only two of them, only two of them, but the orange. Yeah. That's it, orange. We have the winner. Yeah, so I think you guys did a fantastic job. Uh, it was nice to see, uh, it's nice to see all of the investors from Cedars, you know, here, the whole team, etc. Um, good that you're still building, love to hear the updates and uh, I think this was just a fantastic event, fantastic event for everyone involved. They're very confident about what they're doing, uh, you know, they're planning to have more than 20 games by 2026, so they want to build a big ecosystem, they have more than 180 employees all over the world. Amazing event, lots of energy and very excited for the future. Uh, okay, so actually we're doing not just a game, we're making Gamify publishing company and uh, we believe that uh, NFT is the future of gaming because I'm a gamer and understand that uh, when I play and can collect some NFT and tra trade them with other players when I uh, want to have a rest from some gameplay, it is very valuable for myself. Next slide. Okay, so uh, actually the, uh, the most big difference between us and other um, uh, publishing companies in crypto is uh, we make not just few games on one token. We make single lore and every game inside our metaverse have its own planet. So users uh, travel between planets 
And when they tired from one game, they can move to another planet and continue playing. So we continue progress with the same account. And this is the big difference. So when I'm tired from something, I can sell some items from my account to other players and continue playing in another game. And users really like it. So we uh, run in already free games. And uh, these games are in the same lore and the same token. Uh, the fundamental thing of our metaverse is model economy. So when we started our metaverse, we started with zero features, uh, no any uh, features traditional for MMORPG. And players was able to invest their tokens and their rewards in models. Uh, you can see here some models, for example, store, bank, other thing. So uh, users can spend their time in PvP, playing games with each other, and uh, get rewards. So they can invest these rewards in models. And when all items will be collected, they become owners of this feature. So for example, this is, uh, this is store. So this means that there are uh, 800 owners. And that means that everyone who buy item in this store pay commission that split it on everyone inside this ownership depends on his percentage of ownership. So users can play games, they can get rewards and invest these rewards in these models or can trade with each other. And as you can see, the first one invest 32 investment points, it's equal to 32,000 tokens, and get already more than 7,400, you see? So he have really good royalty already, because uh, users coming, playing, spending money, using game, and give royalties to owners. So this is very valuable. So uh, this is the big difference because uh, traditional gaming is when you come inside the game and buy some item, you pay for platform like Facebook or iOS and to developer. And we share with our users. That's why almost all of our users become ambassadors. So when someone, new player, come inside our metaverse and ask a player, do I need to buy something in store? He get answer yes, because 400 people will get revenue from that. Uh, also, we have very interesting technology. So you see graphics for browser. So this is not Unity. This is not Unreal Engine. You can play instantly from your browser on any device. So you can have any computer, and you can get very high quality content exactly from the browser. So we run already Butler. And as you have mentioned before, you see the video, we was running strategy game uh, on mobile and uh, we have a lot of users who are playing right now. It's very addictive. We have more than 70 percentage re retention of day one. And the main idea is to make uh, not just a game because right now gamify problem is that um, developers make, make not game, they make gamification of blockchain. But Inside this gamification, there is no addictive gameplay. So if you will get away reward as tokens or something, everything ruins. We make game that is very interesting without any tokens inside. And also you can get rewards. So the main idea is to make um, mass adoption. What does that mean? Uh, as you can see, uh, we stream approximate cost of inventory for user. So every time when he download his game and start playing, every session, every win, he get a reward. And this reward has some cost because users trading these things on marketplace. So uh, when he collect enough money, he want to trade. But to trade, he have to buy subscription. This is our model. Also, we run in shooters, so uh, as you see, we make only high-quality content. 
And this is the main idea, to make very top quality games, to make, uh, to make blockchain addictive. Okay, this is all my speech. Uh, I will not talk about money on this session because there is no interest, no time. But if you're interested to make collaboration, maybe you have already uh, some community or you're looking for investments, you can scan my QR and send me your offer. I will talk with you.